and uh, you know in the recent five years we have encountered more than 475 bridge collapses and 280 flag cover collapses all because of the failure in the structural integrity that is the deterioration of the stainless steel alloys used in the making of those bridges so what we have done is we created a completely new alloy just from scratch with the composition iron chromium nickel neobium with the name fcnn 714 as you can see here this is our complete new alloy. So our initial step in that was a thermodynamic phase study which we conducted using a software called Thermocal. Later, we synthesized our alloy in different particle sizes at Loyola College with the help of the distinguished nanochemistry HOD Dr. Santana Raj and his associate Dr. Jaya Rajendra. Moreover, we tried to study the XRD and some test of our alloy, but since the alloy was in powder state, it still didn't support. So what we did is, we actually fabricated our alloy in the thin sheets at a factory called Amcor in Kadalon. So after that, we studied the XRD test, the SEM test, and as you can see, the natural corrosion resistance test. As other alloys get easily corroded within 80 days, our alloy was able to sustain for more than 90 days without any corrosion. We have also studied the effects of electrochemical deposition on our alloy. And uh, moreover, since you know, we can't destroy existing bridges and recreate our uh, alloy with those bridges, we have aerosolized our compound into an aerosol spray which could be sprayed on existing bridges. They could be spread, spread on existing structures which could uh, eventually uh, increase its corrosion resistance pro property by much significance. So moreover, when we were doing this project, we actually encountered the terrifying RB bridge collapse. So what we did is, we subjected our alloy into the recent bridge collapses that had happened in India. As you can see here, for more than 120 days, after extensive uh, observation, we have, uh, we have came to a conclusion those uh, alloys corrosion rate was very very minimal like it was declared negligible so that, that we have also applied, uh, we have also published two research papers based on our alloy and moreover uh, we have also filed a numerous amount of rtls so, to know about the various bridges in Pondicherry, since we are uh, basically from Pondicherry, we have visually inspected those bridges. We have also duplicated those uh, duplicated those bridge structures, as you can see here, with the same uh, composition that they, that they have done. And uh, you know what? Even though it was a visual inspection, sir, these bridges were actually subpar in condition. They were average in level. So what we did is we actually reported reported it to the top ten known agencies in India, ranging from the president to the municipality corporation of Pondicherry. So later in the beginning of the project, I do realize that this project is incomplete without the cement part. But my part alone exists nearly for more than one year. It's like eleven to twenty minutes. So what I did is I relied over the help of my friend Danos, who did the cement part of the project. So over to them. So my part in this project was basically to create a new cement. So for the initial literacy, we took the top 25 countries' low structures and studied them and recreated them to know about it. So just when I thought of mixing the top 5 countries' cements in the correct ratio to create the strongest cement, I came to realize that India had already been doing similar things for the past 7 decades. So what India had been doing? India has been copying road technology from other countries like Japan and Germany and placing the same in India. For instance, you can take the Yamuna Express, the Delhi Express, all are copies of other countries' road technologies. So we have formulated an entirely new combination of materials with a uniquely modern microcapsule urea formaldehyde and with the help of an extensive literature review, we synthesized the cement. Thanks to my professor and his PhD guide, we synthesized the cement at a university called Pondicherry Technical University at a micro scale of 100 grams with, a, with this uniquely modern microcapsule urea formaldehyde. And after the creation was over, we did the physical test studies at High Grove Polytechnic College and the results were characterized using an XRD and cement. And after the completion of creation and the results, we published a research paper on the creation of this cement. So that concludes my cement part. So now on to the main part of the project, integrated ferrous matrix reinforcement. What we have essentially done is, we have combined the alloy part and the cement part to study about the best mathematical SOP modeling for road, for road laying. As you know, for road laying, we have different shapes and integrity like square shape, hexagon shape, like, uh, you can also call it honeycomb, etc. And uh, again, after extensive hard work and studies, we have kept conclusion that the X shape has much more efficiency in road laying. The X shape has much more efficiency in road laying. So later, as you know, the process of laying cements layer by layer is called pouring techniques. And there are different kinds of pouring techniques like radial pour, vibrated pour, pumped pour, uh, fixed pour, etc. Falling pour. So among all, again, after extensive studies, we have come to a conclusion that the vibrated pour has much more efficiency in road laying process. So later, you know, after roads are laid, we are adding some chemicals so that it could give it, give it a glossy and a beautiful look. But sir, they also have some effect on the roads efficiency. They could be positive or it could be negative. So after extensive study with various chemicals, with various color additives, we have come to a conclusion that the white, white color imbuing calcium carbonate has much more efficiency and a bigger positive result towards road laying. So also, uh, sir. As you know, in highways and hill stations, there are trees and uh, shrubs or uh, plants growing nearby, which eventually destroy the roads with, their, with the help of their roots. So what we have done is, we have studied the effect of 
our road system and also with the uh, trees that are growing nearby the uh, hill, uh, hill stations or highways and the help of WHO uh, preferred herbicide called Imazapai. So actually there are only six uh, herbicides prescribed by WHO and Imazapai is one among them. So uh, after an uh, int intense study for 90 days, we have come to a conclusion that among, uh, among all those research, those roots get deflected towards the sites when it comes in contact with the root system. So that basically is a project. So for the government of India to recognize our project, we have also applied for a patent to the government of India so that uh, they could implement it in future for the good. So that's our project. Thank you.